Morning gang. Monday morning means that I give myself a treat. Because I smashed myself all weekend, I put on a pair of floaty pants. Everyone's a comedian when you turn the camera on, eh? Monday morning. It's lit down there pretty good, eh? First time I've gone in the water with this baby. These little beauties are the Roca Sim Shorts. It's basically just a pair of shorts made out of wetsuit material. I use these on Monday because I've smashed myself all weekend and it's not like it really helps my swim, but it helps me get to swimming. So often on Mondays, I feel sore, I feel tired, I feel lethargic, I don't wanna come here, I don't wanna swim, but what I do is because it's so much easier to swim in these, when I wake up, I kinda of make a deal with myself every Monday where I say, if you go to the pool, you can wear your floaty shorts. Some people call them sexy shorts, I agree with that. That's my floaty shorts. I'm always a in a lot of cues about strength training, so I figure I'll give you the really quick Coles Notes version of what I do as strength training. Do I strength train? A, yes. Do I strength train year round? No. During race season, no strength training. The load of strength training during race season, too much. After the race season, I really just get into strength training that's like body weight, just kind of activating like stuff around here and there. I got scars from falling. Getting into December, we start getting in a little bit of strength work. That's like light weights, the compound movements, deadlifts, squats, cleans, dumbbell presses, things like that. Not machines. I'm a machine, but I don't go on machines. Then come January, we start doing a bit heavier sets with like six to eight reps. And then now, because my race season starts early, we're actually tapering off really, really quickly from all that strength work. And we're going into like similar compound movements, but higher reps, 12 to 15 reps, lightweight, but explosive movements. That's Cole's notes of strength training 101, 20S, entry level for dummies, triathlon strength training with Terry. I shouldn't have grabbed the 18. That was a little optimistic of me. Okay, I'm gonna finish up and then I think we've got a fun thing planned at the office. As promised, we've got some special guests here. Mel, she edits the vlogs. And this is Laura. Laura's from upstairs. We like Laura. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we are going to give these lovely ladies 10 different triathlon terms. They have to write down what they think it means. And I don't think they're gonna get any, but we'll see who comes the closest. And I'm gonna give like, I don't know, like, fake points. Okay. Number one, ready? Yeah. I'm not giving any hints. Well, I might give hints. There are no rules. Fartlek. I can give you the spelling and the country of origin. Uh, Namibia? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know the country of origin for any of these. <laughs> for any of these. <laughs> F-A-R-T-L-E-K. Ready? Okay, yeah. To expel air behind you during a leg of a triathlon. Okay. Huh? Or do you mean during a leg or down a leg? So I had my real answer, which was a measurement of distance. Okay. 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 And then my stupid answer, which is the taste of a fart. The taste of a <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody's right. A fartlek okay. is a run where you go fast for certain legs of it, and then you go oh, slower, okay. so like wind sprints within a run. Okay. Oh, so uh, zero points for everyone. <laughs> Actually, neg negative 5,000 for both. Keep, keep <laughs> track of your points. Jeopardy. The second one is bonk. Maybe like 
minus 500 million by the end of this. Yeah, I said a second wind. A second wind, okay. I said when you're extremely fatigued. Okay, we're gonna give you a Woo! positive 5,000 points and we're going to give you negative 10,000 points <laughs> because it is the exact <laughs> opposite <laughs> of that. It's like, getting, too, really it's no getting too tired and like hitting the wall. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, bonked, I All bonked. Right. That Num makes way more sense. Num <laughs> <laughs> Number three, a flip turn. Flip turn. A oh, flip turn. I think I know this actually. A technique used to turn around while swimming underwater. Okay. Change direction at the end of the pool. I will turn. give positive 20,000 points to each of you. Number four, triathlon juice. I don't think Is any of you Is something you put would. into your body or it comes out of your body? Oh, that's I can't a, say. That's an important <laughs> distinction. I can't say. I don't know if any of you are even gonna know this. This is a bike shopism. That's actually a hint. A bike shopism. So it doesn't have anything to do with your body. <laughs> well, it might actually. Oh no. The grace used for the gears of your bike. A mixture of high energy juices <laughs> used to win biking and stuff. Okay, uh, <laughs> negative 10,000 points each. Okay. Oh, really? It is, it's the sweat. The water bottle stuff, everything that comes off of you gets squirted around on your bike. And bikers are anal about cleaning their bikes. Triathletes have filthy bikes. So all that stuff that uh, seeps down onto the bike and doesn't get clean I... is triathlon juice. See, and that's... if you look at the down tube underneath, it's like, it's like sticky. Cause I was gonna say like sweat. Same thing, it's a <laughs> mixture of, yeah. I know, but then you threw me off by saying bike. You gotta stay focused. <laughs> Number five, a niggle. Could you spell this word, please? Yeah, spell it. N-I-G-G-L-E. Hmm. I believe it's from Dutch descent. Submissions in. Okay. You're just going blank. <laughs> this is, that's Mel's submission. <laughs> A bruise from oh! training. Oh! I'm gonna give you negative two. Okay. Because it's not right. Oh, okay. But it's not than entirely what I right. It's better than what you wrote. <laughs> It's like a little pain that's starting to come up. It's not an injury. Oh, okay. So it's not an outright bruise yet. Something like a twinge in your foot. Mm, like an inkling. I... Inkling, yeah. Ah. An IT band. Laura? A stretchy contraption to hold your devices while triathloning. Triathloning? <laughs> in one word. Triathlonging. Yeah. Is that not <laughs> triathloning? <a verb? laughs> and? Uh, so it's like a heart monitor or some other type of fitness monitor. Negative 100,000 each. Your IT band starts up here and it goes down the side of your leg and attaches oh, to your is knee. Is it like a hammy? Oh. It's like a hammy on the outside of your leg. Goo. A goo. Could you spell it, please? G U. Is that like that's different initials than what I G U? Thought. G U. Answers are. I put a putty to prevent slipping in all weather conditions. Where do you put said putty? I don't know. Okay, do like <laughs> on the ground before get... you go out. Handlebars. <laughs> Handlebars. Okay. Oh, I don't know if this will make sense, but I said like a, it's something you put on yourself to make you more <laughs> slippery and aerodynamic. And like... Grease me up, <laughs> woman. Yeah. Like Grease that. me oh, up. Oh, that's yeah. a way better answer. Yeah. Uh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Goo is a gel. A gel that you take for nutrition. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That doesn't sound like something I So you do. eat it? No, you eat it. Oh. Yes. Number eight. What is a Clydesdale? I said the favorite to win. The favorite to win? Oh, okay. Probably not. Coined from the breed of horse, a Clydesdale <laughs> is a horse of a triathlete. What do you mean by horse? Can they swim? <laughs> And just for that, you get negative 50,000 points. <laughs> okay, there we uh, go. You get negative 45, so I think you're tied. <laughs> a Clydesdale is a male triathlete over 220 pounds. Mm. Oh, like it's as big as a horse. Strapping man. Oh. Big as a horse. Sturdy gentleman. So you are not a Clydesdale. No. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm like a full. 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 <laughs> there we go. I'm a full. Is that an actual term also? No. It should okay. be. No. Yeah. I feel like I'm I've been weightist. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. Ooh. Mashing. This appeared in one of my videos. Had you ever watched them, Did you I would edit know. That one? Nope. I didn't edit it. Not I didn't interested. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't edit, I'm not interested. No, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I can see why you're very stressed out about getting the right answer. Cause like there's a lot there's a on the line. Right there is a lot on the line here. 
pushing the gears on your bike to the limit and ruining them in the process. When a large group of athletes just all get squished together. <laughs> There's too many Clydesdales in here. <laughs> Negative 25,000, I'll give you zero. Oh, hey! Actually, <laughs> mashing is pushing gears really hard oh. and not turning a lot. So you're not quite ruining your bike in the process, okay. you're ruining your legs. Last one, to taco something. So the mm -hmm. term is to taco. To taco. taco. To taco something. And you said it's and a it's, bike term? It's a bike term. Final answers. To wrap your bike in a tasty hard shell <laughs> overcoat. So why, why would you waste that on the bike when you can eat it if it's well, so tasty? Okay. I don't know. Your bike's important. You want to pamper it. I said to either jam apart or go head over the top. Like just spill over the handlebars. Oh. You, you went over the top there, putting in two answers and they're both wrong. <laughs> Uh, so you got, I think, minus two million, two million, <laughs> and you only have minus one million. Right on. So you win with, I think, minus one million hundred thousand ish only. To taco something is to taco your wheel, crash, and fold a wheel. Oh, oh that makes sense. So That's it. Winner. I've... Well, well done. Well done. Winners here. <laughs> <laughs> winners. Just losers. All right, ladies, you thank you for playing, so and make sure you tune in tomorrow for another ridiculous triathlon Terran game. I don't know if we'll play one or not, but it's fun to say. We'll make one. Yeah, we'll make one. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Thanks thank for you. You are both uh, equally terrible. Terrible. Yeah. I am surprised at the caliber <laughs> mic. I want some of that tasty taco. Yeah, I want some tasty taco mic.